And today I'll be speaking to you about antibiotics and telling you about the things that you need to know. My objectives for you today are to, by the end of this lecture, you will be able to gain knowledge about antibiotics, learn about antibiotic resistance, know the proper use of antibiotics, gain insight into how to avoid infections, and learn how to avoid antibiotic resistance. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about antibiotics. Um, do you know what antibiotics are? Yeah, they, uh, they cure um, illnesses and things like that, you know, infections. What about My you? name is Major. What about you, ma'am? No, I don't know. I want you to tell me okay. that. Okay. Antibiotics, they are an antimicrobial drug. They, use, they are used to treat and prevent bacterial infections. They can kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria. They were discovered in the 1920s. And like I just said, they're used to treat antibacterial infections. You know, something like um, strep throat. Okay. Anti means against, and biotic means living things. So. How many of you all? I was going to ask you, uh, you said it was discovered in 1920, so what did they use? What kind of remedy? Did they use like homemade home remedy? Like Before that? then? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are some classifications of antibiotics. How many of you all go to the doctor and get lots of antibiotics? None of you. What is the main antibiotic that everybody knows? Penicillin. Penicillin.
taking too much. Mm -hmm. Or taking when you don't need it. <clears throat> Overuse occurs when antibiotics are used when they are not needed. That's what I was telling you about the cold or the flu. Both are viral, therefore you won't be able to cure an infection with antibiotics. And the misuse of antibiotics occurs when the course of antibiotics is not finished. You know, you know how we do. We save them, put them in the medicine cabinet, because we start feeling better after we start taking them. And we save them, and then your friend comes over, you're like, girl, I got some antibiotics in my uh, medicine cabinet. <laughs> okay. Or when you use someone else's antibiotics. Okay. And that's just um, a breakdown of the causes of antibiotic resistance. You see over-prescribing antibiotics. That's when you go to the doctor, and every time he's like, okay, I'm going to give you some antibiotics for that scratch on your leg. I'm going to use some antibiotics for that cough. Oh, my back hurts. He's right antibiotics. Mm -hmm. Then, like I just said, the patient's not finishing their treatment. Like, they'll give it to you for five or seven days, and after the second day, you're feeling better, mm -hmm. and you just say, hey, I'm not taking these anymore. Then you know as well that they use antibiotics in some of the foods. So that also gives our body access to unnecessary antibiotics. Um, poor infection control in hospitals and, and clinics. You know, you have people not washing their hands and going around from patient to patient. Okay, lack of hygiene and poor sanitation. That's the same thing, basically not washing your hands. Um, and a lack of new antibiotics being developed. That means they're not creating them as quickly as they need to. We're getting so many new bugs that they're not creating enough antibiotics to treat them all. Okay. Why should we be concerned about antibiotic resistance? Anybody?
all your medical costs. Antibiotics are very expensive. Very expensive. Before we continue on, I want to show the class some antibiotics. Now these, you will see these mostly in hospitals. Mm -hmm. And they will usually go in by IV. Well, they will go in by IV. They have all different kinds. I know a lot of you are familiar with this. Oh, this yeah. is the one that they <laughs> use. <laughs> okay. I mean, they come in all different, all different forms. You probably seen the pills, and they'll come in a little vial like this. Okay. On the next. Here we go. <clears throat> you think you can click on that one? 
you probably minimize it, you copy, copy paste it, minimize it, and go to another five, three months or something. Mm -hmm. Now, some of those antibiotics that have sulfur in them, mm -hmm. now, them are the ones I'm, I'm, I'm allergic to that. Okay. Yeah, I can't take anything like that. You make sure you tell your doctor that. Sure. Anytime you try to prescribe you something with sulfur, make sure. Yeah, I get rid of it. Is sulfur in that? What you need to know to avoid antibiotic resistance. When he's getting that little prescription pad and he's saying, I'm going to give you some antibiotics, ask the doctor, is there anything else I can do besides taking an antibiotic that will help me? So ask him for other remedies to alleviate the symptoms. When you do have an infection that requires antibiotics, take them all. Do not leave them for your friend. Take every one of them. And like they say, take them. I mean, if it says take them with food, if it says take them with an empty, on an empty stomach, take them for the whole course. Now, I know the next one says discard leftover meds. That's like if the doctor takes you off of that, off of that antibiotic, because he's like, this one isn't working, throw that away. Don't save it for your friend, okay? Do not save antibiotics for when you get sick and next the next time they get vaccinated. You know, pneumonia, there's a pneumonia vaccine. There's a flu vaccine. These things will help you not contract these type of infections. So that'll make you least likely to have to get on the antibiotic. Ask the doctor to prescribe you an antibiotic only if it's necessary. Take steps to avoid catching an infection. You know, when it's cold, Go out with all your clothes on. Don't go out there half dressed. Um, try to avoid me. If you see somebody coughing, <laughs> don't walk right into it. You know, wash your hands. That's the number one way to help prevent you from catching an infection. Um, antibiotic stewardship. It is so very important. It's a program dedicated to promote the appropriate use of antibiotics. That means they're making sure that you're taking the antibiotic how you're supposed to take them for as long as you're supposed to take them. It improves patient outcomes. And what I mean by that is if you take them like you're supposed to, you'll get well and you'll have less chance of catching that same infection over again. It reduces antibiotic resistance because it's teaching you how to properly take the antibiotic. And by them doing this, it helps decrease the spread of infection. Okay. I'm going to start the video, okay? Here's a little video about antibiotic resistance, okay? Resistance. But what does this mean? Bacteria are single cell. 
cell organisms. Since he's gotten bacteria, different illnesses such as throat infection or severe infections, antibiotics are drugs used for fighting infections caused by bacteria. They reduce illnesses and even death from infectious diseases. However, although antibiotics have many beneficial effects, their overuse is contributing to the problems of antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria change so that the effectiveness of antibiotics is reduced or eliminated. The bacteria survive and continue to increase in number, causing more damage. Bacteria can do this through several mechanisms. Some bacteria develop the ability to neutralize the antibiotics. Others can pump the antibiotics out of the cell, or even change the antibiotic attack site so it cannot affect the function of the bacteria. Exposure to antibiotics, therefore, provides selective pressure, which makes the surviving bacteria more likely to be resistant and hence continue to proliferate. The resistance is usually coded by DNA and can be transferred to other bacteria. Antibiotic resistance is a global problem for all of us. Some infections cannot be cured today with our current antibiotics. Therefore, 19 member states have joined forces in the joint program initiated on antimicrobial resistance. The joint program provides the platform for initiating and coordinating the actions needed to reduce antibiotic resistance. Are there any questions? I'd like to thank you all for coming out to my little presentation. Thank you.